What is up guys and welcome back to the Donahue channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, or tonight because I'm filming tonight, today, tonight, whenever you're it's just so, in this video we'll be going over what's in my camera bag for 2019. I've been getting tons of DMs, tons of emails asking, dude, what's in your backpack? What's in your camera bag? Uh, because about three months ago, I actually did a review and kind of unboxing first response, initial response to the Low Pro Tactic 450 II. Decided to make a video on what's in my camera bag for 2019 and what I use uh, for my content creation uh, work in, in marketing and what I do now. So let's get into it. Disclaimer, if you have a ton of gear and you put it into this bag, not only is the bag super hefty and heavy duty and will withstand lots of damage, it gets heavy because you got camera gear. So I'll just, I wanna say that, that, that's it. So let's get into it. Not exaggerating, it is that heavy. This thing is beefy. It's so beefy. Can you hear the solid, can you? It's built like a tank and I love that. I mean, you have so many compartments to this bag. This this bag is solid, low pro. You did a great job with this bag. Here we go. Hopefully nothing falls out. <laughs> pen, you gotta have a pen always. I guess since it's faced this way, we'll just focus on, on this side of the bag first. So right now I have the Canon 6D Mark II camera body that fits neatly right in here right in there i mean i have all these pockets that are just i know where everything goes i know where this body goes i know where the lenses go i know where the batteries go it's just it's so perfectly placed for me i can switch this in different configurations for my choosing and what i needed to do and you know all that stuff so body okay and then i have another body on the side here and this is ah uh, yes the canon 5d mark IV. this thing is a beast of a camera great for stills great for video as well and because I want to even the distribution of weight, I put both cameras on either side of each other, opposite of each other, so they're not on the same, you know, side, and it's not so much weight on one side, and then you get it. So, and then in the middle, I have, now th this is where I kind of struggle because I have the Mavic Air and Mavic Pro drone, and the Mavic Air just fits super well in like one little pocket, one little side of the bag, because it's so light and compatible and portable, you can just put it in its little case. But I like the pro video quality of the drone it by itself, and so there's really no case for that, and I have to put that in the middle, and I put it at the very bottom so I can, prote I can protect it. And on the top here, I have its remote controller, which is this. Unfortunately, this remote controller does not have the detachable little pegs here legs which is unfortunate and so I just face it down so the little pegs don't get hurt or damaged so that goes to the side that battery should be up here that battery should be up here should be should be and I have extra propellers just on the just on the side here that's where it fits because you never know there's about uh, two different sets of propellers for the drone just in case one gets hurt damaged you know I can just replace it super simple and that fits right there perfectly then I actually have the Mavic Pro in here, and this is an actual low pro case that actually can go on, you know, if I configure it, I can actually, I can fit this little pouch on the front here and kind of make different pockets and stems for the backpack and kind of make it more compatible to what I do. If I were to unzip this here, the drone kind of fits, it doesn't zip all the way, but it does the job and boom, there's the drone. Simply just put it in that low pro tactic bag. Comes with the bag and it's actually great and it fits the pro, so I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, kind of wobbling here. And over here, I have this little bag, the Sony bag that come with, not doesn't come with the bag, but essentially I have a bunch of, I have the chargers, cleaning wipes, the essential GoPro because you never know when you gotta strap a GoPro to a helmet, see a side of a car, handheld, Got to get that, you know, special shot that you can't get. You got to put it in the crevice of something, stick it in there, get quality 4K footage. GoPro. Battery charger uh, compartment for the GoPro. Another iPhone charger. A little battery for the microphone Rode that I have right now. Uh, this is a charger for the actual charging hub for the GoPro. And another 9 volt. And that's it. That's empty. So I just put all those charging mechanisms, everything that I need, small batteries, the GoPro fits in this bag and I can just fit it right on top here. So it works out. I love it. And then on this side, your left, my right, is 
That's embarrassing. Battery should be up here. On this side, I have the, the lens of all lenses. The lens that every photographer, every videographer should have. The Canon 70-200 2.8 version 3, I believe? Version 2. And this lens, this is a whole separate video on this lens, which I will not go into. But essentially, this lens goes right in here perfectly. It just fits. It fits. It fits for me. It fits for the bag. I love it. It's it's good. So, boom. Okay, moving on. Uh, in this spot, I usually have a 24 to 70. It's set up for a video shoot right now, and I don't have that. But it usually goes here. Goats. It usually goes here in this compartment. Moving on. On this side. Wow, this pad does not want to stay in. On this side, we have. Uh, sorry, this is a 24 to 70. I usually have a 16 to 35 in this compartment, but on this right side. I have a 24 to 70, I believe 2.8 version three, I believe, yes. Notice how I'm evenly distributing the weight of, of the backpack with the lenses and cameras so that it all fits and actually isn't just, again, too heavy on one side, but it's evenly distributed and it just looks nice overall. It just would look nice. Bottom left hand, your right, would be charger for the camera, charger for the camera, Battery for the drone, another battery for the drone, and some caps for the lenses, another lens cover, and so I'll usually keep the batteries for the drones and the battery charger. Sometimes I'll fit some more stuff like chargers if I can, another lens in here, it just, whatever I'm doing, whatever kind of shoot it is, I'll kind of adapt to that situation and put what I need there. So, moving on to the middle here, because that spot was a little filled up, I had another charger in the middle here. Uh, battery, 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 and a battery charger for the Mavic Pro. So, it's a lot of stuff. Anything else? No. And this is my favorite compartment actually of the whole bag. It's small, but it actually has a very good use for what I do. And it's just a little pouch that you can actually split open like this goes right in between the pockets of your compartment in your bag and this is essentially what I do with this little compartment this is I take two fully charged batteries because I know my batteries will be here but if I know that I'm gonna need batteries on the go and I'm you know in a long shoot I'll put both batteries here and I know for sure these batteries whatever batteries I put in here they will be 100% fully charged that is why I love this little space so much. This compartment is because it can fit two batteries. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it, but for my usage, that's great. That's all I need it for. <laughs> and that is it for, I mean, this portion of, of the backpack. And on top of this little compartment, I actually, it doesn't come like this. I made it to be this configuration. I actually put this kind of shelf like thing up here. So I could easily just go to the zipper up here instead of opening the backpack all, all at once, I can reach it from here. This compartment, I have a Moleskine notebook, MacBook charger, I have my Sandmark iPhone X Plus case so I can put a lens right on here and screws on and it's just perfect just in case I can't whip out any of this stuff. It's also paired with the lens. And then headphones, some pens. This is a solid pen, I love it, and a Sharpie. And there's a pocket out here, like right here if you can see it right in there and I don't really use it or need it, so zip it up. So that is it for that portion of the bag. Okay, we flip it over and we get this side. And this is the side that flips open and has all the compartments as well with the zips. So in this main zip, I have the Mac Pro, Mac Pro, Mac Pro laptop. Fits right up there. Fits perfect and I love it. In this zip, in this zip, I have SD cards, I have some cables, I have the Mac Pro adapter thing because Apple decided to uh, be dumb. In this, we, in this pocket we have some more cables for the hard drive and two other hard drives. And that is the Low Pro Backpack Tactic 450AW2. That is my camera bag for 2019 and that is all the gear that I use in my camera bag. So there it is guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and those who have asked me, hey, do uh, what's inside your bag for 2019? There you go. 
This is the gear. This is the bag that I use. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace.